fire signs hello aries sagittarius leo welcome to my channel this is going to be your weekend tarot we'll see what's coming up for you it's going to be more intuitive so we'll go with the flow and see what comes up what messages need to be heard um, but before i begin please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already uh, and if you did want to become a channel member, you can do so. You'll get access to member-only content. So um, to become a channel member, all you have to do is click on the join button on my homepage of the channel and you can set up a subscription there. For private readings, please email me and I'll send you over those details. I am currently accepting those. Otherwise, let's see what's coming up. Four fire signs. To be your overall energy okay could be a Scorpio Leo here Sagittarius Libra okay hmm so I feel like you are living in the past or I'm getting someone's coming back. Someone might be wanting a second chance or they want to make peace with you. It could just be that they want to be civil if you've got kids, like for the sake of the kids, for the family. Or there's someone here that's coming back up. I feel like they still love you and they want you to know that they're still there. Fire signs. I think you're going to be open to the prospect of making peace with this person. But to be honest... I don't know if the love is the same. Like, for me, I feel like this person's love for you is pretty strong. But your love, I feel like with the Justice card and the Judgment card, it's sort of like I get that you've made a promise to yourself, like, to not put yourself in that position again. Or you're like, you know, I've made a promise not to be back with this person. I'm getting like friends and family are getting in the way. So there's there's someone here who's trying to like change your opinion about a connection. Um, it could be people you know. I feel like it's people you know well and people that know you well, uh, fire signs. But they're like trying to change your opinion for some reason. To be honest, I think you're going to take on their advice. You, you might listen to it. I don't think you're going to treat it like gospel. But they could have, I can't pinpoint their um their agenda here. But I definitely feel like they want to have some sort of influence over you and the decision you make about a connection. Um, I'm seeing a separation or an ending here. It's bad. It hurts. It's it's real and it's raw. I don't think it's something recent, though. I think it's something that might have ended a while ago, but it's coming back up. I don't know if this person's going to reach out. You're going to hear from them. Or maybe, like, the family member's going to bring them up. But I feel like that's coming up. Some of you may get a message We've got two angels here, so two important messages um, may be coming from this person. For some of you, there's a separation or a divorce that you might be going through. Um, I'm seeing friendship coming out of that, though. Or like if this is like assets and things that need to be divided or shared, I feel like someone's going to be quite fair. Um, it might have been someone that's hurt you before. And I get for some of you, you're like, you're not expecting too much from this person. It's you're like, you know... They're never going to do this for me or I'm not expecting that because I know their character. They could show you a very different side of them, which I think you'd be genuinely surprised by. Let's see. What is this death card, Three of Swords? Is this someone from the past? Oops. Okay, someone you've been waiting on. Could have been Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius, Aries. Someone you've been waiting on, they've had time to think and now all of a sudden they want to come back to you. Someone's thinking about getting married. I wouldn't be surprised if there's someone showing up with an engagement ring going, let's be together, let's get married. The hangman here is, this person's dug their own grave though. They've done some pretty crappy stuff that's gotten you and them apart. Uh, it could be a bit of a troublemaker here I'm getting with the hangman. They've healed in some regard, uh, but I feel like with the sun card, they're being impulsive wanting to get back with you here. So, and I feel like with the equip with the star card, I feel like someone's trying. This person's trying to get your attention. Like they're posting, they're posting a song 
like you used to enjoy for, like from a concert you've been to or they're posting a quote that they know is your favorite they're posting something subliminal and they're putting it out there where you they know you'll see like they're purposely making their page public or you know they're they're doing it somewhere where they know you have access to and you'll see and it's sort of your way uh, sort of their way of hooking you back in here earth signs like reeling you back in going uh, thinking if you're going to take the bait and reach out to them i do see some of you communicating and i feel like some of you are going to hook up at least you might even sleep together the the star with the sun you might be intimate there's there's nude figures in the, these cards for some of you it could even be like a pregnancy that happens from this like this one night of passion um what's the outcome but i always consider the star card like destiny so i wonder if it's destiny for them to come back to you where they're at okay the magician six of swords someone's going to move forward but independence will prevail with the magician i think the outcome is telling me You'll both, you'll both each have a lot of options. I think you'll want to be alone or you'll have other stuff you'll focus on. You'll have something going on with work maybe. You might have other connections or you're just in an energy where you just want to focus on yourself. Um, the relationship will move forward. I think you'll be together for some time, but eventually I think some of you will want to just be on your own. Or if this is someone that doesn't give you much independence, like they're... they're like they're super clingy, they don't let you go out, they don't like this, they don't like that. Like that's where I feel like you'll want to sort of withdraw um, and you'll want that own space. You need it, Earth Signs. You're very independent, but I don't know if that's going to be what they'll be able to offer you, to be honest, with the Magician, Aries Energy. They could be up to some old tricks here as well, but I get you will want independence. Okay, what are these two angels, these two messengers? Are they two de dis different, separate? I was going to say separate. Are they two separate messages? What are these angels? Could be a message from a Taurus. There's definitely a, a text, an email, or a phone call coming your way. It's going to come unexpectedly, and I get it's coming from further afield. Again, two of wands. Um... Okay, so it's two important messages, as in a sense, like, you might get two messages on an online dating app. Could be from a foreign lover. If this is, like, a long-distance person, you might have, like, a couple missed calls or a couple messages from them. Um, I definitely get communication, though. I see you talking with someone here. Queen of Swords and the Nine of Wands, but it's kind of an awkward situation. So the messages are there, the connection's there, but it's going to be awkward. I feel like you haven't spoken to this person in so long, or I feel like... They've been overseas, they've been busy, or maybe they had family visiting them, uh, but they've been they've been busy and they've gone MIA, and I see some of you sort of gave up on this person, but they'll actually message and reach out, and I get it's not just going to be the one time, I get it's going to come in multiple times, could be more for Taurus watching. Um, King of Pentacles, they're going to try to impress you with what they've been doing with work, and I get that they may have some big news, and they want to share that with you, like... They may have started their own company or gotten a promotion or like got a large amount of money. They want to show off to you. And it's their way of doing that. But I feel like they're further away. It's like they can't even meet up with you even if they wanted to because they're so far or like their work has taken them far. So I reckon the, the, the idea of them messaging you, the idea of them calling, I feel like it's to show off. Now, you normally maybe have fed their ego before, um, and that's why they're going to sort of reach out. Or they feel like they need to show off to you for some reason. They feel like they need to tell you. I don't know why, but they feel like they need to be seen by you. It's weird. Let's see, what's the outcome of this? these messages and these calls? Okay, some flirting is going to be happening, and eventually I feel like there'll be an offer. Ace of Wands, they might even invite you to where they are. They might even say, well, hey, why don't you drive down for the weekend, or why don't you meet me here, or why don't we meet up overseas? Like, what are you doing? There's some flirting, and I feel like with the Page of Wands, there's a spark. So there's obviously something here. 
but page of wands, ace of wands, some of you might hook up and meet up with this person. Um, I feel like for some, they might want to start things up. Ace of wands can be like a new chapter. And the outcome here is telling me there's something new that's going to spark up with this person. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Sag, Leo. Um, sorry, I've been... Did I say Taurus last time? I'm so confused. I'm doing fire signs, right? Yes. Yes, I am. Okay, um... I just did earth signs, so apologies if I've been confused, but it's definitely fire signs. Um, or maybe I've said an earth sign here that I've, I've had to say, but uh, I feel like, I mean, it might even be you, because um, fire energy here, uh, fire signs could be you that's that takes the initiative and you're like, oh, why don't I come to you? Why don't I come to see you? Like you will take the initiative there. Um, maybe if it is a fellow fire sign, but I feel like there's there's potential here between you and this person. I want to say there's potential. Uh, they're still attracted. You're still attracted. But, you know, be careful. Page of Wands and the Ace of Wands, it could be for their pleasure. Like they could be messaging you. They wanted to get, they, maybe they want some nude pics. They want to hook up. They want to like have that sexy talk. They want to do all that together and then they might disappear. Like they're driven by lust here. So, that I know I wouldn't be surprised I feel like there may be someone here who wants to get what they want from you and then they may disappear without having longer term intentions so just be mindful of that um a couple cards from the universe advice let's see okay we've got the hermit and the hierophant okay I feel like I'm getting a message here that you and someone are at two very different stages of your life right now. It doesn't mean that you can't make it work, but I feel like things are just, you're at different stages to the point where you can't make something last. So if you're wondering why things have never progressed, it's because with a particular person, it's because that you have been at different stages together and that's coming up. It is Virgo and Taurus energy, so you might be dealing with one of these signs, or if you are, then it might be more applicable. But I feel like um, some of you are turning your back on love, or the message here is like to focus on your own stuff and turn your back on love, and you might see more and more things come to you than you initially planned. And isn't that the way? When we ignore that person or we don't focus on love, then it's all around. But then when we want it, it's nowhere to be found. So I feel like it's possibly a bit of that here for you. Um, but I definitely feel like communication is going to be big. Like there's some revealing things that are going to happen. Uh, and I feel, like I said, it might be someone more from your distant past. Some secrets may be exposed here as well. Um, but I feel like with, with the Hierophant, it's Venus energy. Um, and it's come up a couple times. So I'm wondering if communication will turn into love or communication needs to happen to embrace love in your situation where you're at. Either way, I do feel like that's going to happen. Um, but I do feel like there's a message here. Some of you have to go your separate ways at this point in time. It doesn't mean that it's forever, but the universe might sort of want you guys to focus and grow in, as individuals and then come back together. Or well, for some of you, it's going to be growing together. I mean, we've got the higher and that's, that's the marriage card here. So for some of you, marriage is coming up. Marriage, wedding, planning, meeting someone married. It's a theme for you. So I'm going to wrap it up there. So thank you again, everyone, for watching. All the best. Have a wonderful weekend and bye for now.